In this video, I'm gonna focus on the differences between Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC, or just Lightroom, and which one I use, and hopefully I'll help you work out which one you wanna use. Hi guys, my name's Steve Gerrard. I'm a photographer here in Canada and on this channel I talk about all kinds of things to do with photography but today I want to talk about Lightroom and the differences between Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC. Some of you might know Lightroom CC which stands for Creative Cloud as just purely Lightroom and some of you might not know the difference between Classic and Lightroom and Lightroom CC. So I wanna answer a few of those questions and tell you what I think the pros and cons of each are, and hopefully that will help you decide which one is gonna be best for you if you're a photographer. So let's jump over to the computer and we'll get straight into it. Okay, so let's quickly just look at the interfaces so that you can see the difference between Lightroom. And when I talk about Lightroom, I mean Lightroom CC, which is the Creative Cloud version of Lightroom. So Adobe be want us to call this version Lightroom and then this version is Lightroom Classic and you can see they look kind of different just from the offset. Lightroom Classic has these modules in the top right hand side where you've got library, develop, map, book. I don't use many of these on the right hand side but I always use develop. Develop is where most of my editing will go on so this is where I'm going to do things like reduce the exposure and straighten my images, crop my images, things like that, change the color. Whereas in Lightroom, you just have a very simple option on the right hand side, but actually it's pretty intuitive. And this is a newer version of Lightroom compared to Lightroom Classic. And it definitely has advantages over Classic, but Classic also has advantages over this version of Lightroom. So I'm gonna go into those a little bit more in detail now. Okay, so let's talk about one of the things that Lightroom and Lightroom Classic have in common, and that is that they are both subscriptions, which means you're gonna be paying a certain amount per month, depending on what you need, and it is an ongoing thing. You don't buy the software outright and keep it on your computer. You pay a monthly subscription, which can be from $9.99 a month in US to $19.99 a month, which means you actually get Lightroom and Lightroom Classic and you get Photoshop if you want to use that, which I do. So it means it's fairly cheap to get started on Lightroom, but obviously over time it's going to work out quite a lot of money. Both Lightroom and Lightroom Classic need to be downloaded to your computer or your device and Adobe said that both of them are made for amateurs and professional photographers. But as you'll see, one has more features that professional photographers are more likely to use. And there is some storage included with these plans. So with the Lightroom plan, which is $9.99 a month, you get a terabyte. With the photography plan, which includes Classic, you only get 20 gigabyte because uh, you're not going to be storing quite as much to the cloud probably. And we'll get into that in a bit. And then you get a terabyte with the 1999 plan as well. So this all depends on how you're going to be using Lightroom, what kind of photography you're doing, and your personal preferences on how you actually use the software. Both Lightroom and Lightroom Classic can be downloaded to your desktop, but with Lightroom, you can also edit on your mobile device and on a web browser. Probably the biggest advantage of just using Lightroom is that you can continue editing on any device no matter where you left off. So if you were out editing on your smartphone and then you wanted to finish the edit when you got back to your computer, you can absolutely do that with no interruption. In Lightroom Classic, you, the user, are responsible for where all your images are stored and where they're backed up and where you export them to. So here I've got everything on a hard drive and when I finished editing, I will decide where I'm going to export them to, whether it's the same hard drive or multiple other hard drives. Whereas with Lightroom, all your images are automatically backed up. So it means that you shouldn't lose anything and that can be very reassuring as a photographer. So with Lightroom, because all your images are stored in the cloud and you can use multiple devices, it's not just made for DSLRs and mirrorless cameras, but also images that are taken on your phone and you can store everything together in one place. So it's really, really convenient and can be used for all kinds of reasons. 
One pretty amazing feature in Lightroom as well is that they use their Adobe Sensei machine learning, which helps tag your images automatically when you upload them to the cloud. So finding images can be really, really easy. Whereas with Lightroom Classic, tagging and organizing images in that way is completely down to you as the user. Now, so far from what I've said, it might seem that Lightroom is definitely the better option compared to Lightroom Classic. But now let's get into some of the places where Lightroom Classic actually has a few advantages depending on how you want to use it. And the first thing is with the importing of images in Lightroom, you have very basic options. There's no options on what you can do when you import. You simply decide where you're going to import from and then you can check it. And then all your images are ticked. If you don't want to import something, you just untick them like that. Whereas in Lightroom Classic, if I want to import photos, you'll see up on the right hand side, I have the option to build previews, smart previews. I can set it to apply presets and metadata before I even hit import. Now, when it comes to actually editing the new version, Lightroom has quite a nice little side panel over here, which makes a lot of sense. Things like exposure, contrast, highlights, and shadows are all in a section called light. So I can very quickly just reduce the exposure to save some of those highlights. We can save them even more with the highlight slider. And then things like color, temperature, tint, all in the color section, which makes a lot of sense. In Lightroom Classic, you'll see it's a little bit different on the right hand side here. We have things like tones. If you go to the HSL slider, you can really, really get stuck into the colors and mess around with those. So if I adjust the yellow saturation, you'll see in the building behind the yellows just going up and down like that. We can change the hue and even the luminance. Because Lightroom is meant to be used across different devices, things are a little bit simpler, but you can still make similar adjustments over here. And that's all in the color section. You can change colors, change the luminance here. So if we want to change the luminance in the color here, we can do that. Bump up the saturation in certain colors. If I go to the blue, you can see that I can take out the saturation in his suit or bump it up. Also in Lightroom, it has your standard tools over here, like crop and rotate, healing brush, the brush and gradient tools. So if I wanted to crop, I can just straighten things up like this, bring it in and that is done. Now, whereas I think that the Lightroom option does have everything that a lot of people would need, especially if you're a beginner, it's very easy to learn. I do like the fact that in Lightroom Classic, which is obviously based on older technologies, so kind of has been the same for a long time and that's kind of one of the things i like about it is because i'm so used to it it feels very instinctive you can do a few more things over here on the right hand side with lightroom classic than you can with lightroom but it all depends on whether you think you're going to need that stuff I do suspect that at some point there will not be the two options. I think there will just be Lightroom eventually, but for now you do have these two options and Adobe have promised that they are committed to both Classic and Lightroom moving forward, but who knows what's going to happen in 10 years time. Okay, so let me just quickly summarize the main differences between Lightroom and Classic. First up with Lightroom, CC, Creative Cloud, all your full resolution photos are going to be stored in the cloud and therefore they're going to be available everywhere on different devices, smartphone, computer, iPad, and Lightroom is going to manage and back up all your photos for you. So if you're paranoid about backing up your pictures manually yourself, maybe you're not the best at doing that all the time, then Lightroom might be the best option for you and will give you some peace of mind for sure. I think Lightroom is simpler and easier to use, especially if you're a beginner. And it does have a couple of things that are available only in Lightroom and not in Classic like the recognition and the auto tagging. But with Lightroom, you do tend to need an internet connection for full functionality. With Lightroom Classic, your photos all reside on your computer or on your hard drive. And it's up to you how you organize them. As an example, if I wanted to export this image, 
I have the option of deciding where I save it. I can rename it. I can change the file settings and the size of the image, make sure everything is perfect for what I want. Whereas you can't do that at the moment in Lightroom CC. And although Lightroom does back up to the cloud and let you edit on different devices automatically, in Lightroom Class here you can make smart collections and upload those to the cloud and edit on different devices, but they will be what Adobe calls smart previews. So they won't be full resolution files that you're editing online, but the adjustments that you make on different devices will then be copied across and when you get back to your computer you can edit the full resolution file from where you left off. And lastly, in classic, for most of your editing, you won't need a internet connection. You can just edit whenever you like, unlike the cloud-based version. So I think if I was just starting out, whether I was a brand new photographer or a more advanced photographer trying Lightroom for the first time, I think that I would probably go with the cloud-based version of Lightroom rather than the classic I think the cloud-based version is easier and quicker to learn, but Classic does offer some advanced editing options. I predict that the gap between Classic and the cloud-based Lightroom is going to get narrower and narrower, and I wouldn't be surprised if eventually Adobe just has one option, which is a perfect combination of the two. If you do want something a bit more advanced for your editing and maybe you want things like print options and slideshow options, then you definitely want to consider Lightroom Classic as that will give you more features like that. Personally for me, for now, I'm going to continue using Classic. That's pretty much what I've been using for the last few years and I'm just super familiar with it. I have a lot of presets and I like the way I can use the presets in Lightroom Classic. And I also like to use some of the functionality on the right hand side that at the moment the cloud based version doesn't have. So obviously there's a lot more I could go into with the editing process and all that kind of good stuff, but I'm going to save that for another video. So. If you want to see more stuff like that, then consider subscribing to the channel. Give me a like down below if you got anything from this video. Otherwise, we will see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.